Hey, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm here with Tim Hill. Tim, how are you today? Good. Tim is one of my project managers and he has done an amazing job uh, with our job site power. So I thought I'd do a quick video and share this with all my custom builder and remodeler friends out there. I don't know if you're in a similar situation to us, but a lot of times we've got a lot of power needs. Uh, we're in a new construction house here. This is about a 5,000 square foot house. We're gonna be doing some portable air conditioners here as the summertime approaches. We do uh, dehumidifiers and even some electric job site heating. So we've got some really expansive power needs. And most of the time we've got temporary power at a power pole that the um, electric company has dropped in. We might have one or two plugs there and a temporary panel or a sub panel I should say but we really need power in the house closer to that location. So Tim, give us a little tour of this job site panel box that we've made here. Well, the problem has been we never have enough safe power, mm -hmm. power protected by ground fault circuit interruption on the job site to power heaters and air conditioners and dehumidifiers, yep. as well as the 110 volt or 220 volt compressors that we may have on the job as well. So. We came up with the idea that we could provide all that power protected with sub-panels mm -hmm. located inside the house that had ground fault circuit interrupter breakers in the panel. Yeah. So each individual plug, each individual outlet, whether it's a 50 amp 220 all the way down to a quad 110 20 amp plug, all have individual ground fault circuit interruption right here in breakers the in each panel. Yep. Primarily, this is the 220 side of the panel feeding the 220 circuits, and this is the 110 side. So what's our feed coming to this? Do we have a 100 amp or 60 amp? It's set up to have a 100 amp. At okay. this particular job, we figured that we wouldn't need over 60 amps. So we have a 60 amp breaker at the main breaker panel, panel outside, and then a, 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 a four gauge, four conductor service feed wire coming in through flexible conduit and that's what this to is the right set panels. Here. That's right. What's the name of that conduit, Tim? It's Carflex liquid tight con uh, conduit. Very flexible, especially in the summertime, a little harder in the wintertime. <laughs> uh, and it's connected with uh, special liquid tight uh, connectors on either end. And Tim, I love the way you set this up to make it really mobile and portable. What, do you, what did you, uh, what'd you do here? How'd you set all this together? Well, we wanted to make it as weatherproof as possible because it will be exposed to the weather and paint and mm -hmm. drywall, etc. So we took a back, background cover of uh, pressure treated plywood, covered it with Tyvek flex wrap mm -hmm. to make sure it was durable, and then fastened all the different components to that, each of those having liquid tight connectors or uh, plumbing sealer hard connections with uh, uh, electrical conduit so that even if it were to be rained on, it should hold up pretty well. Yeah, that's great. And then what's the uh, what's the cart you got on here, Tim? The cart's just an aluminum uh, three-position uh, uh, hand truck, hand truck dolly, yeah. dolly. Uh, that allows you to get it out of a truck, roll it down to the job site, and then put it in a third position where it's a, a reclining cart moving from room to room. Man, that is awesome. One last cool thing that Tim thought of at the very end. Show us what we got here, Tim. Well. Just as an extra layer of protection, we took some commercial grade Tyvek that we'd used on the job and made a little uh, rain or drywall mud cover protection yeah. cover that just slips in the back and lays over it. And that way we can roll it up or, uh, or take it down if we need to. What a great idea. Tim, amazing job. I'll post some photos on this on my blog, so if you needed some more pictures and some diagrams to kind of see how we did this to build one of your own, check out my blog at mattracinger.com. Thanks for joining everybody. We'll see you next time.